Hello students. Today we'll discuss about isometric projection. Among that, problem number three. First, we'll start with the problem. Draw the isometric projection of rectangular prism of 60 into 80 into 20 mm thick, surmounting a tetrahedron of sides 45 mm, such that the axis of the solids are collinear and at least one of the edges of both the solids are parallel to VP. So here we have two solids. The base solid is rectangular prism whose side length is 60 mm, 80 mm and thickness is 20 mm. Above that we have a tetrahedron whose side length is 45 mm and they are collinear. Their axes are collinear. That means they are in the same line. So let us start with the solution. And whenever we have a tetrahedron problem, the height of the tetrahedron will not be given. You are supposed to draw the orthographic drawing of a tetrahedron and you are supposed to find the axis height of the tetrahedron. So let us start with the problem. First, I will start with the tetrahedron. I will go with n sided polygon micros. Then here we have to construct a triangle since tetrahedron base is triangle. So 45 side, it has three sides. So I just got the triangle. Let us check the side length of the triangle. Yes, it is 45 mm. Now I need to convert that into a box. When I convert that into a box, I might get a rectangle. So from each corner, draw the vertical line here. And from this corner, draw the horizontal line. I'm going to trim the unnecessary lines like these two lines. Then I'm going to measure all the values. So this value is 38.97 and this value is 22.5 of course it has to be off of the 45 mm so remaining is also same then i have to find the center of the tetrahedron corner to the opposite midpoint corner to the opposite midpoint likewise corner to the opposite midpoint so i'm going to trim the unnecessary lines so once i got this i'm going to convert this into thick lines because all because these are all slant edges which are visible once I got the center, then I have to project for the front view, draw an XY line, project from this corner till here, then project from here to till here, also project the axis till the XY line, then project an axis line and it has to be converted into axis third in a row. Now I will go to arc by center point, pick the corner, then here. I have to draw arc whose side length should be equal to whose radius is equal to 45 then cut an arc once I got the arc then go to line select a thick line from this end point till this end point then till here and then till here then I am going to join it till here. So with this I will be able to get the height of the axis I am going to measure that. So make sure that the side length with the corner is supposed to be equal to the side length here and which is 45. Yes, of course, here the axis height 36.74. So yes, now we'll start with the rectangle an isometric projection whose side length is 60 and 80. So start with a line. So now 60 angle supposed to be 30, then 80 angle supposed to be 150. Then again 60 angle supposed to be minus 150 degree then again lastly we have uh, uh, 80 angle supposed to be minus 30. So I will get a rectangle in an isometric uh, way then here from here I will take the height thickness is given which is 20 mm and it is a vertical line I got this once I got this then select this. Then go to move tool, turn on copy, pick this exact end, place it exactly at this point. Then go to line from select from here to here, select from here to here. So you can delete the unnecessary invisible lines. You can delete that and you can keep it correctly. Right. So this is the rectangle prism. Then above this, I have a tetrahedron. I have a tetrahedron. So let us start with the tetrahedron. So before that, I am going to find the center of this. From here 
till here. Next, now I'll start with the tetrahedron. So tetrahedron, it is a rectangle. I am going to get a rectangle. So I'll start with that from here, which is 38.97 at an angle of 30 degree, then 45 at an angle of 150 degree, then again 38.97 at an angle of minus 150 degree, then lastly 45 at an angle of minus 30 degree. Once I got this, again I am going to get a thick line from this end to the midpoint of this and again till here and again till here. Then again I need to find the center of this. So from this I have to draw a median for that. So draw this corner to the opposite midpoint, draw this corner to the opposite midpoint and again from here corner to the opposite midpoint. So with this easily I will get the center and now axis height supposed to be 36.74 and it is in vertical line. Draw the axis so you can convert that into an axis line third in a row. Take a line go for a thick line from here till here from here till here and from here till here so this is the tetrahedron so i'm going to convert all the hidden lines or a construction lines into a thin line and i'm going to change the color of that so that it will not disturb me even this is going to be an hidden and a thin line okay now this is the tetrahedron select the tetrahedron go to move turn off the copy command pick up exactly this center place it exactly at this midpoint then you can also convert this construction lines into an hidden lines then inside these lines will not be visible so i am going to use zoom i am going to use trim I'll trim this internal lines then fit so yes so here what are the things that you can show you can use the leader command select this you can also use select this and you can extend this furthermore select this you can extend this furthermore go to text here this is tetrahedron You can type it as a tetrahedron and here you can type that as in uh, rectangular prism and you can also draw two horizontal lines at, from this corner to show the angle from here to here those lines supposed to be thin lines make it into thin line then angle between show the angle that is this will be at an angle of 30 degree now once you're done with all this you have to convert that into an isometric view so select this completely go to scale factor 0 0.8164 convert that into an isometric and keep it exactly where it is so this completes the problem three it is very very simple we have a rectangular prism above that we have a tetrahedron thank you